Hey loves, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika, aka Shamika G, and we are back with another video. very first time click on the video mind then welcome 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 i am so grateful that you decided to check out a video of mine by clicking on this one and if you are not new and you want my oldie book goodies hey boo hey all righty babies so i know for my oldie book goodies y'all know i have been gone for quite some time um, with good reason, I promise, with good reason. Um, but I will explain all of that in another video in on my vlogging channel. So if you all do not know, I do have a vlogging channel where I want to try to separate my budgeting and like financial journey separate from my day-to-day -day life with me and my children and my boyfriend and stuff like that. So if y'all want to see that type of content that's on the vlog channel but on this channel we're just going to focus strictly on the budgeting aspect and the you know financial aspect of my life so without further ado y'all let's just get into that because that is the whole reason we cut this video on today we are going to be setting up our october paycheck one budget as well as going over you know our monthly uh, bills and stuff like that some changes there but that's the main thing so I do want to make this like a two-part video I want to do one where we discuss our budget in full you know in both parts but one specifically I want to do the budget where we talk about our budget in a budget book and then my second part to this video is going to be where we discuss how to set up a budget in a notebook. So just a regular Douglas dollar, two dollar notebook that you get from a store, just any store. And it doesn't even have to be the notebook that I use, but I want to take the time to just do those two different things. So in the first video, we're going to set up my budget in my budget book because I just feel like this is one of those things where um, this is what I utilize. But before I started use a lot, utilizing this, I was in a notebook. So I want to do that as well. So if you are new, make sure you subscribe. And if you're not new, you want to other book goodies, uh, like the video and then, you know, leave a comment down below. I do appreciate everybody who reached out to me and asked questions. And I will be back to my regularly scheduled program really, really soon. So let me just, that's enough for the intro. Let's just get into the video. This is my budget book that I crafted, created myself, and I do sell in my web on my website. So in my shop, if you are interested, it is linked down below. We are going to skip all the way to October. And here is what October looks like. Blooming past the fear of budgeting is so boring, one month at a time. I do have some water in my Stanley cup that my best friend got me for my birthday. So I do have that. But here is the budget and here's what we're going to be setting up for the budget in the budget book. So here is my monthly spread and hopefully y'all can see that. I will, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit so we're not looking too much. It's gonna be a lot of light coming from this side. Um, but here's what my budget looks like. This is what we'll do. We'll just do it like this so we can focus on one page at a time. Um, but here's the monthly. I went ahead and I color coordinated all of my bills. I know the colors look very similar but here is uh, orange and then this is red. And so this is all the orange is everything that is going to come out in the first of the month paycheck. So I get paid on the first and the 15th. And then everything that needs to come out with my 15th paycheck is all in the red. And so this is everything I need to come out. So a couple of birthdays this month, my brother uh, has his 34th birthday. And then my daughter and Chris, which is my boyfriend, they have the same birthday. And so he'll be 34 and my daughter will be 12. And so as you all know, Munch is in Virginia with her dad. So I'll be sending her something for her birthday 
And then um, we set, you know, the money aside for her sinking fund. So we'll be able to spend that this month as well. And then my boyfriend flies in on the 23rd and he leaves on a specific day. But I figure after I record this portion, I'll go ahead and mark in when he flies out. So I'll put his, you know, his whereabouts all on camera and stuff like that but he does come in on the 23rd which i'm super excited for i cannot wait to see him i have not seen him since my birthday um so let's go ahead and set up our budget when you're doing it on a budget sheet it is super easy because everything is filled in for you you just have to plug and play so for my budget specifically, um, I don't have a lot of bills and I don't have a lot of like different uh, income streams or streams of income. So the only one that I technically only care about or that I mark is going to be my full time, which is my military income. And then my cash rollover, which are the ones that I roll over on a certain um, on a paycheck paycheck basis so my cash rollover and then there's only certain categories that I roll over and that's why you know it doesn't um, always have a lot of money in it and then we have my rollover which is what was left over in my checking account when I ended the paycheck the last paycheck so I had $122.35 rolling over from there and then we have miscellaneous, which I don't have anything uh, coming out of miscellaneous. I'm gonna back y'all up just a little bit because I feel like the camera catches the pen every time. And that is something I noticed when I'm going back and re-editing. It catches the pen and then it takes a while for it to, um, what is it called? To actually focus again. So the total amount that we are going to be uh, doing our income with is going to be 20, 20, 95. So this is our total income amount that we have to budget with for the entire 1st of October paycheck. And so we'll make it work. This is my actual income now that my paycheck has, you know, figured itself out and did what it needed to do. It took a while, but we're finally, you know, there. So now I'm gonna go through and just write my bills in. This CC means my child childcare. He's back in the like youth center before and after care. So I have to keep that in mind and set money aside for him. And that's what that CC stands for. So that's my child childcare, car insurance, cell phone, who we got a lot to talk about in that vlog because the cell phone bill being $13 says a lot. Um, I did something and I won't do it again, but we'll discuss that over there. But that is the reason. There's a reason why this is $13. It won't be that way next month, but it, it is this month. Um, internet is $90.84. I did have to increase our internet by a lot. So I'm, I'm glad I did. Paycheck buffer is $760. I don't have anything miscellaneous at the time. $37.95 and then $27.36. So for our income, and I'm gonna break out my old calculator because it's not as noisy. And Bubba is trying to go to sleep, get his rest and all of that. Cause we have been sick. Uh, we've been down bad for the past couple of, actually for like the past week. My son has been sick the past week. It almost feels like it's been an entire week and I think it has. Me, it's been, it's been a little, it's been a little bit. <clears throat> it's definitely been a little bit. So for my total expenses, it's $408.95 and we're gonna take that out of 2020.95, which means we have 16.12 left. So now I'm gonna go over here for my Disney credit card, which is the annual fee that I pay on the Disney card. I'm gonna split it this paycheck by putting it for doing half on the first and half on the 15th. I usually will pay the whole thing with my 15th check, but I've been trying to like look at ways where I can kind of split my bills up throughout the paycheck so that everything's not coming out on one specific paycheck. So I did do that with my internet. And so hence why there's a lot more rolling over because in this rollover, that was the internet. And it was also, 
Oh man, this, I just messed up somewhere. So it was also something else, which was this wax pass. So I'm gonna put this over here because this is something that is not coming out um, consistently. So after I pay it this month, it's done. So kids savings is 20. Amex as of right now, I don't have anything going towards that. 10K, 1K, 10K is 75, 1K is 100, and then the wax pass, like I said, half of it is coming out of here, and then the other half I'm taking out of this paycheck. Half of internet was included in this as well, and I think that was it. Yeah. And then my wax pass would have been 135. So then that is everything we have for our savings slash debt. So for that total, that is going to be $355. So we're gonna have a total of $12.57 left over. And then because at this moment, the past few weeks, I have not actually pulled any money out to stuff in my cash envelopes. I am going to fill this out in the event that I do not stuff them this paycheck. Um, I still account for them and I don't like the way that I have been doing it. So I need to get to the bank and actually go pull money out. I just do not like how I don't have an actual bank that I can go in. Well, that I can drive up and go in or that has like a lot of parking spots and I can't get away during my lunch um, because I bring my lunch and I eat at work and I just don't be wanting to leave. And there's just a lot of other little reasons why I don't go during the day. And then by the time I get off work, it's too late. And so it sounds like a lot of excuses, but it's just so much of a hassle to go to that bank off base and deal with that parking lot and just deal with all the people that be over there. So I, if I don't make it on the weekends, I kind of just deal with it and go from there. I kind of just make it work uh, by using my car and keeping track of it on a tracker. But sometimes it don't work out and sometimes I do not like doing that. So we're gonna fill this out together. That way y'all can see it in full and see the budget fully filled out since we have done that in a while. All right, so as I said up here, we had $30 rolling over. That was five, five, and 20. This is what we're going to be adding. This doesn't include like, you know, the full budgeted amount because we do have some that had a starting balance. So now we're gonna go and do our budgeted amount, which is 20, 25, 10, 75, 250, 150, 45, 10 and 80 and so that is our total amount for what we're going to budget for our cash envelopes and it's going to be 665 dollars is what we are putting towards our cash envelopes for october paycheck one and i'm going to take that out of our leftover and that's 592 and I know we're on track because I know if this equals up to what I'm putting towards sinking funds then I know we're good. So 592 and then this is where we're at with our sinking funds. So I'll be honest I have not went and made sure everything had came out because like I said there's money I have to put in there so I'm not gonna fill this in I will fill this section in and then what we can do is take a look at last paycheck we were we squeezed so for last paycheck we did we had 28 528 in our sinking funds but i did have quite a bit of transactions coming in and out of that account like i said because i was doing the cash envelopes leaving it in there not touching it and then just adjusting it so i need to make sure everything is finalized and then i can go through and figure that out and see how i want to do it so 
With that being said, we'll go ahead and just add what we're going to be putting in here so I can show you all that. All right, so Christmas is completely stuffed. Christmas, now this I know for a fact has 1900 because my goal for Christmas was $2,000 and I have already spent 1900 because I did that with my daughter. I bought something for my daughter and so... I know that this is at 1900 right now and um, I'm glad that I bumped my Christmas from 1000 to 2000 because now I have a little bit more wiggle room and I can do a little bit more with buying gifts and doing what I want to do for Christmas. This does include my kids Christmas gifts so the additional money is for like friends and family. Um, so... We'll see how $2,000 works uh, for this year. And then completed. I'm going to leave completed alone. The only ones that I know are accurate and that have not moved are the hard sinking funds. But I'm not going to fill anything else in. I'm going to leave it how it is. 40th birthday, we're going to do 60. Both of the kids' first cars, 50-50. 72, 5. Um, this one right here, 15, because I know if I say their name, they are going to come running over here thinking that I'm calling them. So back to school. I say back to school is done because school has started back. So I like to just highlight this and say we're done with that fun. So on months where if I can't push anything towards it, cool. If I can, great. But it's not a necessity like it is at the beginning of the year when we're stuffing for back to school. But I do still want to stuff it. Black Beauty is also going to get 25. Braces, 25. Clothing, 15. Date night, nothing. Holidays, 15. Military uniforms, 25. Things that I want, 20 travel 50 and then this is a special one because before my long hiatus my long break i did have one of my subbies ask me when i was gonna start my retirement fund and i finally started it and this is for the retirement like celebration that i want to do for my retirement my you know my, my last hoorah and my actual retirement ceremony that's what this money is going to be saved for. I don't really know how much I want to save for it just yet. But usually they buy, you know, the retiree will buy something for their spouse, um, for their children. And, you know, just little knickknacks and stuff like that. So I want to have some income saved. So that way in five years we have the money and we're good to go. We don't have to worry about it later. And so I'm just super grateful that she she pushed me to make this. And I actually made an envelope and everything for it. So I do know. Now this I know we right now we have 225 Because I did make this envelope in the August 1st paycheck. I started this envelope. And so I know this is 325 This is what I get because this is not even zero. This zero is supposed to go here. So I know this has nothing. All right, so that is where we're at. We're down to zero dollars, but we know in the beginning we had a paycheck buffer of seven sixty, and our total income was twenty twenty ninety five. So we pretty much would spend twenty thirteen thirty five. That is where we're at for the budgets. And that's what the budget is like, girl. <laughs> so that is my budget for October 1st. As always, thank you all so much for watching. If y'all have any questions or anything, let me know down below. Again, if you are interested in um, the budget book, it is available in my on my website, in my shop. So check it out there. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I will have a part two for the budget, how to budget and everything. And that's gonna, the next one's going to be how to budget in a notebook, just a regular regular notebook. It's going to be a little Target notebook that I purchased during school time. 
And I want to show you that you don't have to have a fancy, you know, budget book. But if you want to have one, by all means, that's what I use. But before I got this and before I created it, I did use a notebook. So that's going to be part two of this video. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. And I will see y'all in another one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I am, I will be back. I promise. I'll be back this time. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.